Na mtazamaji ni afueni kwa wakazi wa eneo la Mboni katika kaunti ya Makweni kufuatia ujenzi wa hospitali ya kisasa ya kujifungulia kwa kina mama. Hospitali hii pia itatoa matibabu kwa watoto. Aidha hospitali hiyo ilijengwa kwa takriban shilingi milioni saba na wakfu wa Mpesa na kuwekwa uh, vifaa na kaunti kwa takriban shilingi milioni nne. Michael Mutinda anahudhuria uzinduzi wa hospitali hiyo kirasmi ana anatoarifu zaidi. Martin na ni mrodi ni kweli niko katika hospitali ya Tawa hapa ambapo pameweza kujengwa mjengo wa kisasa uh, wa hospitali ya mama na mtoto hospitali ambayo ni ya pili hapa kaunti ya Makueni baada ya ile hospitali ya mama na mtoto ambayo iko katika makao makuu ya kaunti hii pale mjini wote ambapo huwa na zaidi ama iko na uh, inaweza kuwa kuwahudumia kina mama zaidi ya moja na thelathini na hii ni hospitali ya pili ambayo imejengwa katika eneo bunge la Mboni uh, ikitarajiwa kuwa fueni kubwa kwa kina mama ambao wanajifungua na vile vile uh, watoto ambao wameweza kuzaliwa kumbuka uh, bado idadi ya watoto ambao ufariki wanapozaliwa na pia uh, kina mama ambao ufariki wakati wanajifungua bado idadi ile iko juu na sababu moja ambayo inaweza kutajwa kuchangia pakubwa uh, kwenye vifo hivi ni kwa, kwa sababu huduma za afya huwa mbali na kule wanawake hawa wanaojifungua wapo. Kwa hivyo hospitali hii kukaribishwa karibu na wakazi wa eneo hili ambao itakuwa ni afuni kubwa kwa wakazi. Ni hospitali ambayo imejengwa na wakfu wa Mpesa kwa takriban shilingi milioni 27. Kwa hivyo acha tuanze moja kwa moja na waziri wa masuala ya afya hapa kaunti ya Makueni aweze kutuelezea karibia waziri. Uweze kuanza na jina na kutuelezea hospitali ina maanisha nini kwa kaunti ya Makueni na hususan eneo la Mboni. Okay, asante sana. Uh, kwa jina naitwa Dr. Paul Musila. Mimi ndiyo waziri wa afya um, Makweni County na tuko hapa leo uh, kuzindua huu mradi um, Tawa Sub County Hospital au Tawa Level 4 Hospital ambayo ni hospitali ambayo imekuwa lakini tulikuwa na changamoto za uh, maternity yetu ambayo ilikuwa na vitanda kidogo kama six beds tukaonelea tuongee na wenzetu marafiki zetu na tukapata kwamba uh, safari kwa uh, foundation wako tayari kutusaidia so kuanzia uh, last year that is uh, june mwezi wa 6 2022 uh, ndio tulianza huu mradi uh, wa kujenga na kufikia sasa imekamilika uh, mjengo umekamilika kabisa Uh, hiyo ilikuwa imefadhiliwa na Safaricom Foundation na county government nayo tukaweza kununua the equipment ile vifaa ambavyo zitatumika hapo ndani so tumenunua Safaricom Foundation walitumia takr uh, 27 million about 27 28 million uh, kutujengea uh, hii block na county government tukaweka phase one of the equipment tumetumia 5 million Uh, for the equipping ina, so, ina, ina vitanda vingapi vya kina mama na watoto labda uh, tulikuwa initially we are moving from ile ilikuwa na sita lakini sasa tuko na vitanda uh, 20 hapa ndani hizo ni vitanda zile ziko kwa ward then kuna vitanda mbili ambazo ni zile ziko labor ward za kina mama uh, sasa ile wanajifungua alafu tuko na vitanda kumi za nursery Yes watoto wakizaliwa wakitajika kuingia kwa nasari tuko na capacity ya 10 beds. Labda tukimalizia kwa kifupi labda watu, idadi ya watu kina mama wanaofariki kutokana na kujifungua ama watoto wanafariki pia wanapozaliwa iko vipi makweli? Mmeweza kuikabili? Tu, 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 tumeweza ukiangalia kwa statistics uh, ingawa kumekuwa na hizo changamoto za space na you know um, sometimes uh, personnel but tumeweza kupunguza uh, kina mama ambao um, wanapata hizo shida ya kuweza ku, kufariki kama kuaga dunia mm. wakiwa katika ile hali ya uh, kujifungua imepungua sana we uh, improved in the statistics and even the children the babies wale ambao wanazaliwa ukiangalia kama statistics zile tuko nazo tumepunguza kabisa hiyo uh, idadi Yes. Labda tumalizie na afisa mmoja wa Mpesa Foundation utuelezee labda nini kiliwasukuma kufanya mradi kama huu katika eneo hili. Tukimaliza kwa kifupi. Kwanza kama Safaricom tuna jina ni Paul Kasimu. 
uh, mimi ni mkurugenzi wa wafanyakazi so HR director Safaricom na vile tuko hapa ni kama Mpesa Foundation tumesema ni vizuri tuhakikishe kwamba tumesaidia kina mama giving birth should not be a problem or should not be a crime and what we have witnessed here today is a facility that has upgraded what was small um, hospital facility for mothers and child neonatal facilities into a, a capacity of 20 beds for mothers and uh, the newborns the the prems about six beds for that really exciting 27 million that we have uh, uh, provided for this what is also exciting is that uh, as part of our community support on education health water we've also done several of these including in uh, Lamu where we impacted about 33000 uh, mothers and reduced the distance they travel by 60% We've done the same here, where we have also reduced the distance of uh, of mothers, about 15,000 mothers who we are impacting in the, this facility. So no. really exciting. Now, Asante, you can hear that Nimrod here is saying that the most important thing is that they have to increase the number of children who have been born and have been born after they have been born. You can hear that the minister here is saying that this is a great deal. And especially when a kwenye hospitali ambayo ilikuwa na vitanda sita peke yake sasa vitakuwa uh, vitanda ishirini kwa hivyo uh, wale ambao wanataka kubarikiwa na watoto basi hapa uh, watakuwa na shida yoyote kwa hivyo sina la ziada kutoka hapa Naam ni Michael Mutinda huyu akiripoti eh baada ya taarifa yake tunakwenda mapumziko ni kidogo lakini mtazamaji usisahau tutakuwa na sehemu ya ukumbi ambapo tunasubiri wageni wetu tutakuwa tunazungumzia masuala ya uhiano na utangamano